Hi, I'm Anwar, and you're watching Anwar's DIY. Today I've got two things I want to uh, repair today. Um, I have this um, door for my uh, TV TV cabinet. Um, my son, he's four years old. He's a bit silly. He was a bit silly, and uh, he just pushed it off the off its hinges and just snapped. So I'm going to try to repair it. So this is the the piece with the hinges that attaches to the actual um, TV unit, TV stand. And this uh, some places I've got to glue up. So I've got to glue these together. And um, there's a small piece. Got the glue on the back, and this is like a support piece that came off as well. So that's the first thing I want to repair. And the second thing is my son's little chair. You know, it's not a big deal, but I thought I have a go trying to repair it. You know, so. Um, it's just the, the leg, it's ho hollow inside, you know, it's not that, it's pretty cheaply made, poorly made. So I'm trying to, I'm probably try to clear these things out and just put like a wooden dowel or something in there and try to re-screw it, screw it back on. So that's the plan. We'll see how we go. Firstly, with this wooden piece, I'm just going to try to glue it. I'll be using um, the Gorilla wood glue. Um, let's see how good it is. So, let's go. You want it to go between the cracks so you have a nice tight bond. You know what I mean? So put it together, let it seep through. Let it seep through. No. I'll get a clamp, just these pump clamps, use one of these pump clamps, okay, let's hold it there. Now just with a cloth or sponge or rag, just remove all the excess glue. side all right I'll leave down the side. I want to clean these edges here so the glue will have a nice contact area. I 
I'll just you will be using a like standard utility knife just to clean up the edges here. Get rid of the old glue. Now for this piece, I'm going to cut off these little nails because if I try to hammer them out, they'll just keep bending. So I thought I'll snip them off and then drill little uh, new pilot holes and just hammer in some new small small nails. So I'm just going to use like a this thing. I'm not really sure what it's called. I'm just going to cut off the the nails. And just with a hammer, I've just got to hammer in the little piece so nothing sticks out. The smallest drill bit um, I own, I'm going to drill new pilot holes. So when I hammer in the new nails, it won't split the wood or cause any headaches or damages. So I'll just draw a, a, a drill a new pilot holes. Here's our pilot holes then done. And um, yeah. Okay, now with the chair, just uh, we're gonna remove the threaded insert that will go back into the leg. So it will have to be like this, just a bit, if you can see. So to fill in this gap, I'm just gonna. I got this um, piece of dowel rod. So I'm going to put some glue and press this down really hard, and I'm going to cut off the excess. Then I'll dr drill a new hole, and I'll glue. This thread it into or yeah with some glue and I'll thread it back in. So let's give it a go. So add some more wood glue. Press the dowel in really hard. Well, the glue is not really touching the dowel, so add some on the outside. Mm. 
this groove here. All right. Now push it in. There we go. Maybe the hammer, just hammer the top. You need a snug fit, like a really good tight fit. So I think that's it. A bit more taps. Now wipe off the excess glue. I think I'll probably let it dry before I I'll saw this piece off, so it won't move. So, so I'll leave it to dry first, then I'll cut this piece off. Now the glue has uh, fully dried. Now I'm going to use a saw just to cut this piece off then I'll get to drilling. So there we go. Use a file just to make it flush. Nice and there you go, nice and neat. Now one when you find a a drill bit, same size as your same size as the thre threaded insert. Now we're gonna find the the depth. Now I need to mark the depth of the threaded insert onto the Onto the drill bit, I'll be using the, the marker texture. Save it like that, save it like that, just to so know when to stop drilling. Now I've got to drill a new hole. That's it, pretty much center. Now once you drill the hole, you put the threaded insert inside and with a socket wrench, I'm going to try to um, re-thread Probably I need a bigger hole, drill a bigger hole We'll see how it goes here It's going in. Okay, the threaded insert, um, it's not staying, it's not being held, it's not being held on its own force. So I'll be using um, this uh, five minute epoxy. So I'll just put the glue in there and then let it dry and then I'll take it off. We'll see how strong it will hold. So, let's open this.
So now we'll thread thread the insert back on. While I wait for this to dry, let me go back to the cupboard or the door and um, let's see here. So this piece has dried. I'll add some glue on this side. Some glue in this section. And also adding glue on here. Let me see. Give it some taps with the hammer. Clean up here. Hammer. Now, with this piece, I'll be putting it back. I'm not sure if I should put some glue or the nails will hold. I'll add some glue to be better be safe than sorry. Yeah. Now, I've got to be careful not to eat the glass, so just hammer it gently. Now I'm going to clamp the sides of this uh, clamp, this pipe clamp here. Tight, tight on both sides. I'm just going to let it dry and I'll come back to it later. The glue has dried on the on the threaded insert. Now I can get the chair and screw it back on. Nice and tight, do all the other legs and there you have it, the chair is done, the chair is back to normal and now we just got to wait for the, the, the door, the TV unit. The glue has dried on the door and I'm going to um, take these clamps off and then we'll see how we go. There's one clamp. Oh, 
other one off. Uh, as you can see, the glue is still maybe a tad wet, but the majority is dry. And there you have it. The door. Brand new, mate. It's all fixed. Now, all all left, all I have to do now is just um, screw the the hinges back onto the TV unit, and um, I'm done. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Um, it means a lot to me. Thank you very much.